Well, good afternoon. It's 12.55 p.m. again. Good morning, if that's what time you're hearing this. Um, and good evening, if that's your time. The title for today's video is December Despondence Despite Drake Disinfo. D, 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 four, five, uh, that's 5D. I just noticed that. So this is a 5D broadcast. <laughs> that's going to sound an awful lot like 3D. <laughs> Uh, my self-diagnosis is end-of-the-year blues, which I've pretty much indicated in recent videos. <laughs> Someone sent me a link to a post from 26 December 2013 with a transcript outline from Drake's Cosmic Voice Facebook page. If I could believe it, my spirits would have been boosted. Unfortunately, such, such boosts in the past proved unreliable wishful thinking at best, disinformation at worst. <laughs> like many people who desperately want change for the entire world, I am prone to the wishful thinking aspect of interpretation of such data. Yet I am coming to the sad realization that most such reports of wanted changes are most likely psyops run by government agents or simply fantasy news stories to see how many people take the bait and spread the lies. <laughs> yes, I've done that more than once. Lots of times, in fact. Knowing that this is the sad reality, it's no wonder that I feel a sense of despondence as 2013 comes to an end. Sorry, Drake. Even if you mean well and are told this by what you think are reliable sources, there is a long history of none of it happening. <laughs> I decided that I'm actually going to read some of the items that are in this post and I uh, will include the link although it's not in the blurb right now I'll put it in uh, before it goes up online. Uh, the first item and again these are in, in random orders according to the way that they're given. Uh, it's um, as, as I said the person who posted it said uh, I have listened this morning and decided to make notes so we could consider some key points in the order they were presented and not necessarily logical and for those who can't listen for one hour and 40 minutes. That's me. I didn't listen for one hour and 40 minutes. So I appreciate this uh, synopsis or outline of uh, the information that was given. Uh, the first item on the list is there are currently Russian, Chinese, and German troops in the U.S. to go to D.C. to make arrests and prevent World War III. Now, wouldn't that be wonderful? Number, the second item. There is a fourth player who is unseen and very powerful. Quote, and I think we know who this is, but most people refuse to accept it. And they put in brackets, this isn't me saying this, this is what's on the thing. My question, are they referring to ETs? Well, I would hope they're referring to ETs, and I would hope that ETs use their advanced technology to level the playing field. I've said that many times. You know, wishful thinking or not, I mean, I, I'd like to see something happen that brings the, the criminality of our governments and our corporations to heal and to stop the, stop the insanity, stop the crimes against humanity. Number The next item, nuclear arsenals in the Middle East are not working. No access codes are working or targeting facilities. We've heard this before from reliable sources that, that are in the military, how the ETs were actually able to shut down, uh, at least for a time, the nuclear bases in, uh, in North Dakota and, and in other places in the U.S. And uh, I believe I've seen reports also uh, that it's happened in Russia, that they are, have the ability to just shut everything down. Well, they, they need to shut down all the weapons as far as I'm concerned. You know, all the major weapons need to be just totally melted, if possible, like in Anastasia. Like the little girl focused on it, and it just melted the, the missiles, and it just caused total malfunction. Wouldn't that be wonderful? Prosperity packages are in the hat, this is the next item, and have been assigned to the provost marshal of the U.S. military in Virginia. So unusual move that the military are now in control of the prosperity packages situation. 
Wouldn't it be wonderful if Mr. Sino could release the funds and start establishing the CVAC program that was set up by visionaries all over the world? Wouldn't it be wonderful if all of the other uh, things, the Nasara packages and all of the all these prosperity packages we've been hearing about for years, wouldn't it be wonderful if they were released to the public so that we could uh, stop our lack consciousness and move into abundance consciousness and actually change the world? Sudan, U.S. troops there because bankers are trying to start World War III, which will not be allowed to happen. We've heard this before. It hasn't happened yet, so maybe it's true. I hope it's true. Uh, they plan to use any combination uh, of chemical, bio, nukes, or other countries uh, that other countries have said are not acceptable. The Federal Reserve, as of midnight, all dollar notes became counterfeit. Really not a rumor, true. No need to panic. The U.S. economy is still accepting them, and they will be taken in an exchange when the new currency is put into, into the banks. The only thing that would create a problem is if someone turned up at a bank with huge amounts of cash, not commensurate with their standing and income otherwise okay to exchange for new currency when arrives. This isn't written in good punctuation and good English, so if it sounds like it's a little disjointed as I read it, that's the reason. Uh, the big boys, trillion dollar people, bankers and Congress, cashed out large quantities of din dinars. Nassara has been hearing, he has been hearing that they are trying to break, bring this online, if not directly, but quietly. There has been high level meetings in the Indian Ocean, a tiny atoll named Garcia, yeah, Diego Garcia. Nothing there, only a landing strip. Obama has been holidaying a lot for extending extended vacations to Hawaii. He said to have been going to Diego Garcia as a first priority before vacations. Wouldn't surprise me. Uh, anyway, I'm not going to read this entire list because it will take too long. I will post it. But they're painting Obama as a good guy that's, that set all of these uh, traps that we have been told by Alex Jones and others which also might be disinformation, by the way, uh, that this is set up for the American people, when in fact it's not being set up for the American people. It's being set up to arrest the bad guys, the people that have been committing crimes against humanity, the bankers, the corporate CEOs, the, the high-up politicians, and especially the, the, the players like the Rothschilds and the Rockefellers and the Bushes and the, the people that have been high up in the Council on Foreign Relations and the Bilderberg Circle and the trilateral commission and the other other think tanks and stuff around the world that have been doing all of the insanity. Yeah, it would be wonderful if that's what they were used for. And one of the things that, that he had in there was there's three different types of holding facilities and one of them is for the families of the people that are arrested to protect them from the general public so that they don't uh, get massacred or something like that. It's actually for their protection to hold them until things can level out and stabilize a little bit. And you gotta, you've got to realize that if events like this were actually to happen in rapid succession, such as Drake is indicating, it would cause tremendous, tremendous change in the world. And a lot of people that, that were clueless would not know what, what, which end was up and would uh, be in dire straits to make sense of the whole thing. And of course, the to me, the single, single, single biggest thing that we need to do is we need to take over the media. Mainstream media needs to be shut down or put under new management so that people can get honest information. Not disinformation, but truthful information. The fact, for example, that all, all commercial loans are fraud. The, the, the fact that all contracts that are, Neil, listen to this, all uh, adhesion contracts that were created by the government and they entrap the people into into contracting which is not legitimate never can be legitimate you can never use fraud in any contract and have it a legitimate lawful contract it doesn't exist neil no matter how much you try to argue with that but what would happen if people realized that they don't need driver's license that they that almost all of the court the, the things that happen in court are fraud that it's an extortion racket that the courts are operating on behalf of the international bankers and the, and the bar associations, the, the legal profession. These are the real criminals that keep the system going and keep it, keep it being 
horrendous for so many people who are being enslaved and taken advantage of and killed in some cases, gr grossly injured in other cases, and then, then all of the, the health benefits that are being withheld by the pharmaceutical industry and the, and the medical establishment because they are insane, literally, and the, and the psychiatric thing is the most insane of all where they're telling people that because you have bad emotions and you have negativity and stuff like that, that somehow there's something wrong with you and so they give it a label and they start giving you medication to make it worse. And it, that's exactly the objective, is to make it worse, to give you suicidal thoughts and to play with your minds. And they've got all these electronic things running through and uh, trying to brainwash people and affect people's level of consciousness and awareness and uh, and moods and stuff like that. They have the technology. Folks, when are we going to shut it down? You know, I'd like to believe all of these things that are ET brothers and sisters are here to help actually help us, not do it for us, but stand with those of us that are standing for change, that want to make a difference in the world, that want to, to live in a world that works for everybody, where there is equality, where there is there is no exceptionalism of people not being accountable for their actions and being able to pretend they're the good guys on in the public in their public persona but actually they're doing horrendous things behind the scenes and just putting it putting a nice face on it and this has been going on all of our lives and most of the time we weren't even aware i wasn't really aware until until 2001 i was aware of some things but not most things. As I said in one of my previous videos, I thought Clinton was a pretty good guy. I mean, I thought the, the country was in pretty good shape under Clinton. And, and I appreciated him till I learned more about the truth about the, from the Clinton Chronicles and all of the stuff that he was involved in. And this is what's going on, and we need to know this stuff, and we need to have answers for it. But I get despondent at the end of the year when I don't see things like Drake is reporting actually happen. And the reason I don't want to believe it is because he's reported similar things in the past. It was supposed to happen by July 4th, if I'm not mistaken. I don't remember whether that was 2013 or 2012. It might have been 2012 that, that, that he was reporting that these things are supposed to happen. I think that was when it actually was. And there were other dates given that the provost marshal was going to arrest Obama and stuff like that. Now all of a sudden Obama is the good guy that has actually laid all of these plans uh, that we thought were against the American people, but they're really against the criminals. Now, wouldn't that be nice? Except for the fact that he's been bought and paid for and programmed by the same people that are committing the crimes. So why would a criminal try to stop other criminals? But maybe he's not a criminal. Maybe the people that are saying Obama is the good guy, maybe they're right. Wouldn't that be wonderful? I wouldn't care actually at all who comes out as the good guy and who comes out as the bad guy, but bad, but the good guys, as Larissa says, don't use fraud and deceit. They don't use subtleties and, 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 and stuff like that. They're, they're straightforward, just as Obama promised he was going to be, but his promises didn't measure up to anything in reality. Anything that he's actually done, he seems to have done the exact opposite. And it's no wonder that people like me feel discouraged. Am I being bombarded? with electronic stuff to try to make me feel depressed. I've been feeling pretty depressed lately. I've been feeling, I had to go out to my family a little bit earlier today. I'm not mad at you, I'm not upset at, at you, but I just need some my alone space because I have to process some of these, these emotions that I'm going through, some of these bad feelings that I'm going through at the end of the, at the, end of the year. As I drove home from the busker concert last night, I was, I wanted to cry, I honestly wanted to cry. I mean, the emotion was so, so strong, and I felt like such a, a failure, such a jerk, for some of the things that I've, that I believed in, and 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 couldn't make them come to pass. I couldn't change the reality, and, and there are people who say, "Well, you create your own reality." Yeah, we create our own reality, but not from the conscious level. Until we can do it from the conscious level, it doesn't mean a damn thing, does it? Not really, until we can change the world we live in. What good does it do to be able to escape into some never-never land and to some uh, airy fairyville where we, where we feel good despite the fact that the world's going to hell all around us? I'm sorry. 
And I was praying that to God. I says, look, I don't want to feel good. I don't want good feelings as long as the world isn't improved. I want the world to be improved and feel good about that. I don't want to feel good because I've created some illusion in my head and in my brain and, and, and I run with that good feeling when I look around me at the world and I care. You know, I care what's going on in the world. And I want to see real change. Change that I can believe in. Because how can I sell change to others if I can't believe it myself? And I've tried to, my best for almost three years to be a cheerleader, to lift people up and to tell them good things are happening. Well, when are they actually going to happen? Drake, the things that Drake says are coming to pass, oh man, I would, I would love some of that to be true. But there's too long a history, as I said in the blurb, of it not being true, of nothing happening. And this has to change. At some point, we're going to have to change it. And you people that say it's not going to happen in your lifetime, you're not helping. We have now. We don't have other lifetimes to do this. This is the time that the rubber hits the road and it's time to take action. It's time to get off the, the shit or get off the pot, as they say. It's time to do something. It's time to bring this to a head and to, and to bring it into the mass consciousness so that we can all make a decision on what kind of world we want to live in. And I know that if we're given the truth, we will want to live in a world where we're free. Free of all the bullshit. Free of all the lies. Free of all the corruption. Free of all the greed. Free of all the insanity that goes on day in and day out and has been going on all of our lives, even when we weren't aware of it. It's no wonder I'm despondent. I want change. I want to live in a world that works for me and for everybody else, except for those people that want to take other people's freedom away from them and control other people and see other people as human resources and, and uh, violate the free will of others and do things against others without their consent. I want to see all of these injustices brought into balance so that the playing field, as I've said, is leveled. This is what I've wanted for 2011. This is what I wanted in 2012. This is what I've wanted in 2013. Two more days. And will it happen? I don't know. This is the video actually for the last second to the last day of the year, the 30th of December. Will we see changes yet this year in the next two days? I don't know. Probably not. But hopefully, in the beginning of 2014, we will see changes that we can not only believe in, but that we can know are true. And then the human race can finally evolve in an atmosphere, in an environment that encourages growth, one of love and acceptance and freedom and truth. Thank you for listening. Namaste.